Hey there! CloudFormation is extremely powerful. You can spin up all the requirements of your application in one single step. We call that a stack. And you can repeat this as often as you like. You can tear down the stack in one single step. So this becomes very powerful, especially if you want to like get something up and running and then tear it down and try it again without incurring costs. In this video, we're going to explore how we can use CloudFormation to create a code deploy deployment. I've created the repository that contains all the code and scripts needed to create the resources that we need in AWS and to actually do the deployment. So let's check it out. There is a readme here in the root. By the way, there will be a link in the description, so please try this out yourself. So the first step is to activate your profile. So let's do this. So this profile need, needs the access required to create all the resources. Then you can actually go ahead and run the scripts that will create the EC2 stack. All right, looking good. So let's check out CloudFormation. So there is a stack here. So this stack contains everything that we need for our EC2 machine. The stack is now completed. So let's take a look at the events. Everything looks good here. It seems like it created everything. So let's look at the scripts. So there are two parameters, the availability zone and the Linux IMI. Here it creates uh, an IMI role called guess the name EC2 service role. It's here. And then it created the profile. And then it created a Docker Compose instance. So let's look at the EC2 instances. We can connect to it. Docker Compose version. Looking good. So it also installed, it installed Docker, Docker Compose, the code deployment agent, and then it mounted a drive. It's created a security group, two of them, external volume, mount point, point and an elastic IP. We should be able to see the elastic IP. So it's here. So we should be able to navigate to this instance in the browser, but there's no application yet. We haven't created the deployment. Next, we create the code deploy stack. So let's run this script. Okay. So let's take a look at what these scripts are doing. It creates a role for code deploy, attaches two policies, it creates an application, it creates a deployment. Let's open this up in the browser. The stack is completed. Here are the events. Let's look at IAM. Roles. You can see the deployment role here with these policies. Let's go to code deploy. Here are the applications. Here is the application. And here is the deployment group. So now we're just missing the deployment. The final step is left. We create an S3 bucket. So let's do that. So here are the script. It just creates an S3 bucket quite thumbed up. So now it should be there. So let, let's check this here. Here is the bucket. It's empty. Then we have to copy the deployment to the S3 bucket. So here's a script for that. And if you take a look, the deployment, it's an app spec file. The source is two files here, Docker Compose and an Nginx file and then just calling the install script. The Docker Compose file is just quite standard. There's a Mongo, there are some volumes, API, frontend, Nginx. The Nginx configuration is also quite standard. There's an API and a frontend. And the scripts are just installing everything on Docker Compose. So let's run this up. All right, it says it's uploaded. So take, let's take a look here. Very nice. At last we have to create the deployment. 
So creating the deployment, it's just calling a script here to create the deployment and specifying the Astrid packet that contains the deployment that you just uploaded. So let's do it. All right. So let's go back into code deploy. And the deployment is in progress. So we can go here, we can see it's in progress. Our deployment has now completed. So now if we refresh our page, it should load the application. Please. Yes. Success. Great success. And there we are. One of the nice things with CloudFormation is that if you delete your stock, everything gets deleted. All the things that are, that are specified within the scripts will be deleted. So we are done now, so let's delete everything. So I have scripts for that. Or you can just go manually into CloudFormation and delete everything. So deletion is now in progress. And if you just wait a few moments, then everything should be deleted, like your EC2 instance, the Elastic AP, the permission rows, etc. It's already done. Well, that's it. I hope you liked it. I hope you like CloudFormation. Please give it a try. If you would prefer to do this manually, I have another video where you can do this manually. Please check the link in the description and see you later.